What's going on everybody? My name is General Augustano. Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. Don't mind Crash, he's just, uh, you know, he's, he's dancing. It's good music. Alright, so, on the last episode, we completed the first three levels. Ignore that, we're gonna get the red gem later. So, we gotta complete the next two and then we get to fight our first boss. These next two levels should be pretty easy. They only require a crystal and a gem. No extra color gems, no extra gems whatsoever. There might be hidden areas in this might be a secret area that'll get us to the secret hub world that I talked about uh, in the last episode maybe I don't remember it's kind of just on the spot it's on the spot remembrance I have to actually like be in the level and tell but I don't really know about this level or not we need one more wampa fruit to get our 25th life and this will do it right here bing where are the birds bam Boy, the turtles. First checkpoint. I don't know why I keep checking on our, uh... Whoa. <laughs> Consumables! Because, uh, I keep thinking this is Crash Bandicoot 3, because Crash Bandicoot 3, you can see... Uh, oh, we got a fork in the road. Um, Crash Bandicoot 3, you can see how many boxes are total in the level. I just keep checking. Which, as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't say. It does not say one bit. I like that we have two... Aku masks. Oh, I miss. I do like that a lot. So we got a little bit of um a buffer. But also if we collect another Aku mask, we can just go invincible for a couple seconds. There's the crystal. We also hit a uh, a gray exclamation point box. That's a mouthful. Which activated some boxes. So here's the end of the fork on the road, so we're gonna come back. I gotta be super careful coming back because I could just fall into a pit. Which would make sense, you know. This level is called the pits. Whoop, just like that. There are some levels in the game where you do have to run backwards, which is <laughs> Oh gosh! Alright. I almost fell in. Uh, those levels where you run backwards, um, all of the time are uh, are are fun. They're not that difficult. They don't have a lot of pits. I don't think they have any pits, to be honest. If they are, then they're always on the like the left or the right. They don't cover the entire spans of where you're running to make you jump. So this is the other side. Don't really need to kill him. We're not coming back. <laughs> you know, it's fun. Whoop. There we go. These boxes were uh, were outlined. They were not here originally. By hitting that little gray box with the exclamation point, made them real. Is that how I could say that? They made them real. They made them fill in. They filled in the lines with a uh, a box. Can I cheese this? Oh, I just didn't even jump. <laughs> I could just not. Go away, rats. Yay, the bonus! The bonus is kind of like the halfway mark of the, uh, the entire level. Created boxes! Can only be belly slammed. See, those are the outline boxes I was talking about. Oh, I remember this. I did stream Crash Bandicoot 2. I do have a couple of stream highlights up on my channel. I do remember this. You just hit those two. Oh, no. Oh, I screwed it up. No, I, I yeah, 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 I meant to hit those two. I did do it right. Oh gosh. Wary of the ledge. There we go. There's that box. Extra life for us. Hit the middle one. That was close. Come back and get these. Nice. Now, these should be one hits. Yes. I did it perfectly. Perfect. Well done, sir. 31 lives. Let's let it climb. Ah, oh, it didn't even jump again! I'm really good at cheesing the first level, but not anything else. Cheesing the pits in the first level. Skip over you. I wanna try. Yeah! 
<laughs> Thank you, gem from the heavens. All right, so we got the crystal and the gem. It's another one. It's another level out of the way. Crash Dash. I think Crash Dash is... Well, it's also the, it's the next level. But I think it's one of those levels where you do have to run backwards in. No cutscene. We will get a cutscene after this level if we get the crystal. Because Cortex said he would. Yep, there's no forward. We gotta run backwards. These levels are fun. Do, 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 do. Down, 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 down. So beware the snowball, if you couldn't tell. Oh, beware those too. Yep, like that. They slow you down. Checkpoint. Oh. Oh, there are pits across. I don't. I guess they're not as apparent then, or they shouldn't be. Avoid those as well. Crash does not like to be electrocuted. All right. I don't think there's a ton of boxes in this level. There is going to be a break in the action so we can access the bonus. Oh gosh, keep running. Keep running, Crash. Hey, somebody built that bridge. They're going to be upset now that you broke it. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, <laughs> Crystal! Notice how it breaks all of the wood. I just want to let you guys know that. It breaks all of the wood. That'll come back. That'll come back to, uh... It'll come back to haunt us, almost. Yeah, that can kill you. That's why I got it on the other side. <laughs> I know all your tricks. I want the wampa fruit. Don't... I want... <laughs> I want the wampa fruit. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I hate doing this. It just takes forever. All right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm sorry you guys have to watch this, but I need to count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, uh. Eh, 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 ten. <laughs> uh, they did update that in Crash Bandicoot 3, where uh, as soon as you hit it, like on the uh, the bouncy boxes, it does two each, so it's only five hits. So, but you still get ten Wampa fruit every time, fully anyway, or the maximum Wampa fruit you can get is a uh, ten. But we got all the boxes in the box. I died. <laughs> this is where my streak ends. Level 5. I remember there's a box. There we go. No, oh, I missed that one. Ow! It's funny, I got a light. Like, as soon as I died, I got a light from the... From the Wampa Fruit. There's more boxes. Oh, gosh. Oh, get it! Oh, I got hit in the last second. Oh, that hurt. Looks like it hurts. Man, all right, let's try it again. It's just the game's gonna get increasingly more difficult as we go on, especially if I want the boxes, which I do. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I thought I got electrocuted. Yes! I did it. I think we did okay on lives, too. I think we I think we actually gained one more than I lost, like, two or three, maybe. Whatever. That was pretty sweet. All right. All gems. Well, all silver gems. And all crystals for the first area. We get to go fight our first boss. Not before Cortex, though. I'm gonna let Crash dance. I need a drink. Alright. It just turns right around. What do you want? Listen up. We are not without enemies. 
some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. All right. So they're going to attack us as soon as we try to get to the next warp room. Going up! <laughs> this is our first boss. I know who it is, but it was a question to you guys. ripper -roo. He's got a bar- he, got, he had a book on me! Did you see that? He had a book on Crash! Alright, pretty easy boss fight. He's only got three hits. Beware of the TNT. I can't hit him yet. Beware the nitro. Don't get near me, mate. Alright, now I can hit him. Alright, one down, two to go. Um, I forget where to go. Right here. <laughs> Alright. Nitro. I think we're supposed to go over here again. I think, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. It's like the same spot for the nitro. One more! Oh my gosh. Right here. Alright. Calm down, mate! It's right here we gotta stand. That was pretty close. Yeah! Got him! We defeated our first boss. Pretty simple. We got a little challenging as we go on. A little more challenging. It was only the first area of the game. One down, four to go. Snow biz. It's my business, not snow business. That didn't really work. Snow business of yours. <laughs> I see that Ripper Rue failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Co yep, Coco's patching through. I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Crash, I can't keep the data pack open Crash, you need to... Yeah, yeah, I don't... I, just, I know what you're gonna tell me. He's evil still. I get it. We got a little polar bear. What are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna jump on your head for a little bit. <laughs> I jump on your head. Just for a little bit. Don't mind the don't mind me. Peter's gonna have a fit. There we go. We got like twelve or thirteen uh, lives right there. Something like that? I don't know. I wasn't really counting. Alright! Next five levels, there's the green gem. That's pretty easy to figure out. Um one gem, one gem, two gems, one gem. Okay, um, you know what? I am going to start over here this time, because I do want to get the green gem. And it's one of my favorite levels of all time. Span across, like, Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3. The sewers. It's so cool. The music's so good. Do where the eels? Ooh, that was close. I thought I got hit by the fan. Nope! Oh! You see that combo? That was amazing. You don't scare me, rats. Sick combos! Holy crap! The collateral. I thought we were supposed to go that way. I think it's supposed to go this way. Yes, it is this way. Okay. Woo! 
That didn't mean to do that. It's supposed to happen. There we go. We're in the secret area. This is where we get the green gem, by the way. It was pretty easy to find. Oh, gosh. It was pretty easy to find, all things considered. It was just kind of like, that doesn't look right. I got lucky on that. Oh! Jeez, I gotta jump on you. Green gem is mine. Now we're gonna make our way back. These do sink, by the way. Which is why I don't want to spend too much time on them. Okay. Right, 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 right. He had a ton of time. Coming back is usually the most difficult part. Because there's nitros, but because we blew this up on accident, um, it was pretty easy. Alright, sweet! We got the green gem! Now we can continue with the level. And notice there were no boxes in there besides nitros, but we can get that with a, uh, a green, a green metal exclamation point box. There's gotta be a better name for those. There probably is, I just don't know the official name. Hooray for checkpoints. Not halfway through the uh, level. I was gonna say we're halfway through the game. That is not true. <laughs> Almost misspoke. You defy physics. Well, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> a lot of the game defies physics. Let's let's uh, let's back up a little bit. All right. This is going to be great when I play Crash Bandicoot 3 and then these boxes just, you know, die in half the time. Literally. I do plan on playing Crash Bandicoot 3. Because I love the Crash games. Except for the first I'm not a huge fan of the first one. It's insanely hard. And that's not me wimping out. But it's, it's insanely hard and it doesn't really have that much going with it. Like, it's, it's more of a platform... Like, a, it's more of a raw platformer, but I really like the second one because there's something to, like, really to strive for. There's more in an objective where Cortex is like, go get the crystals, and then you go get the crystals, and you get, you also get the gems along the way. There's um, creative and original level designs. It's, it's really cool. And stuff like that, because in the first one, there were boxes, but, you, like, if you collected them, I don't think there was a gem at the end. I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember there being a gem. Like, I just like the second and the third one a lot because it follows this formula of you get gems and crystals by, you know, checking behind me. Um, you get gems and crystals by collecting stuff and that's that's your objective the, of the game. That's the story of the game. Whereas the first one doesn't really have that. There's that green box, green nitro box I was telling about. So all nitros are eliminated for the rest of the level and are counted towards our box count. So, I don't know how people feel for the first one. I don't really know if people do, because usually in the series, the first one is always the best. Usually. I will disagree on multiple levels. I really like the second one more than the first one. Hell, I think, I think, I think, I think, hell, I think, um, Crash Bandicoot 3 is the best out of the, uh, the trilogy, because then it get because then it starts to get weird. It goes into, like, um, Wrath of Cortex was okay. It wasn't that great. It kind of strived off a little bit once it hit PS2. Um, Twin Sanity. Twin Sanity was fun, but it wasn't like the classic. It's not like this. Um, and then it just goes a Mind Over Mutant. Mind Over Mutant was actually a cool concept. It just, it, it, it doesn't follow this. And I really like this aspect of the game. Like this layout. I could have like six more of these games that just follow this template of like you go through these levels you get the crystals you get the gems there's secrets there's all these extra stuff and you just go do it i would i would definitely pay money just for like a hundred more levels maybe more i just love this game another snowball level I'm done. I'm, I've gotten off my uh, my soapbox. Back to the game. Back in the mindset of the game. That was close. This level's a little bit harder. He broke all the wood. That was a little weird. 
He did break all the wood. It'll come back. One of these days. Whee! Alright, this way. But yeah. Oh, you know what? Back to the... Uh, get back on the soapbox. Back to the, like... The first one is usually the best of the series. Um, I will argue that Kingdom Hearts 2 is better than Kingdom Hearts 1. Fight me, nerds. Fight me. I will argue that Kingdom Hearts 2 is way better than the first one. Um, what's another one? Oh, Tomb Raider 2 does not come close to the first one. Even though it's still good. Um, Sly 2 is good, but I don't think it was good as the first one. Just going through, like, I'm just running through my head. Sequels now. Jack and Daxter, first one's better than the second one. But they're still fun! The second one was still fun. I'm not dissing them, I'm just saying that this usually some of the sequels, some of the most of the games I play, the sequels are usually better. I guess it's different in the case when you're talking about movies. Because movies, oh definitely, usually first one's always the best. First one is always the best. But then you do get into some cases like I like aliens more than I do alien. Broke all the wood. And Aliens is the second one in the Alien Quadrilogy. Well, you know, I'm just going off topic now. I should really focus on the game. <laughs> Any Wapa fruit under here? No. That uh, snowball has broken all the wood. One of these days, man, it's going to leave a couple planks behind. And uh, we'll find secrets. But as of, right, as of right now, he's breaking all the wood. He's just destroying destroying all the bridges. So we can't go back. That's mean. What do you mean, bop? I heard that! <laughs> bop, bop. That's funny. I never noticed that. It just keeps going. It just keeps bopping. There's the crystal! There's another life. We have 47 lives already. It's like level- what level is this? It's level 9, but it's technically- technically it's level 7, because we're out of order. For us. It's level 7, we have 47 lives, that's insane. Alright, so, this level's- or this last part of this level, oh gosh, is a little tricky. Like the last one, the last snowball level that we did, which was level 5, uh, we have to hit boxes. Same with this level, except for some of these are caged. We need a belly flap. We got them all. Oh, one of them was caged. I thought two of them was. Alright, never mind. We did it perfectly. I'm not a scrub. What are you talking about? Wait, don't go. No. <laughs> Where are you going? Come back. I didn't mean it. Alright, another level down. I think next we'll do the polar bear. Barrett, I think. How original. Yeah, Barrett. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can leave a like down below and you can subscribe to see more videos from me like this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay frosty. Say bye bye, Bear. Bye bye, Bear. Bye bye. Come on. Say bye bye. Say bye. There he goes. He said bye. Hey, did you guys know I started up a Patreon account? If you're feeling generous and you want to show your support to the channel, you can find the link to my Patreon page down in the description below. I will be eternally grateful if you do. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey.